Good morning, good morning, Kingdom King and Priest Peter Spencer Wisdom Speak. I love you, my brother and sister. I love you. I pray today you have an awesome and wonderful day. For this is the day that the Lord has truly made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Not your righteousness, not my righteousness, but the righteousness of the King of Kings, Lord of Lord Jesus Christ, him crucified. So today I want to read to you Galatians chapter 5, starting at verse 16. And it reads this wise. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if ye, if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, reviling, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ has crucified the flesh with affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. The Word is already blessed, my brother and sister. So with that being said, let's go to the throne of grace. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, for I say that the Lord God knows my heart. But with that being said, it means to me that I am not willing to change my ways, my ideas, my way of living. And it is causing me to miss the mark of the high calling of the Most High God. Today I come to you, Holy Spirit, for the fruit of the Spirit to be instilled inside of me. That I know by the sweet assurance of Calvary Cross and the resurrection of God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, I plead for mercy today, Holy Spirit, that with your fruit, that I will be changed from doing it my ways to doing it the kingdom way of God. For I seek your guidance, Holy Spirit, so many distractions is on this earth that it's hard sometimes to focus. But today, and I mean today, I surrender and yield to you today, Holy Spirit, to have full access of giving me the fruit of you, Holy Spirit, in love, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you are the comforter, which Jesus the Christ said that it was expedient, that he must go so you could come and now you are here. So let us not grieve you, Holy Spirit. Have your will and your way leading us in the, in all spirit and all truth today. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We have you. We welcome you. Have your way in love and power that we will stand still and see the salvation of the Lord our God and our King. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, sealed with love, we say amen, amen, and amen. Wisdom speak. I love you, my brothers and sisters. You have an awesome and wonderful day.